Okay, let me go back over here and uh, we'll take a look at this uh, this video about WoW coming to console because that's obviously what I had wanted to take a look at. All right, here we go. Well, after years of speculation and waiting, it seems like the reality of World of Warcraft coming to consoles, or at least console, may be just around the corner. Oh to some, boy. this might sound blasphemous, but believe me when I tell you WoW on console looks not only very likely at this point, but also ultimately for the best. The game. Yeah, I think it is. I would absolutely say adding WoW into uh, adding WoW to console would be good for the game. It would 100% make the game better. Has, after all, been on a very public decline over the past decade, sure so has. opening up to new platforms and players could very well breathe life back into it. Plus, there's the fact that a number of MMOs, including ones that are natively feature tab target combat, have been very successful on consoles. And in WoW's yeah, case, yeah, between Final some Fantasy currently available features and massive new ones coming in Dragonflight, the game will more than ever be very playable on GamePad, to the point where it has the ability to emulate the sort of experience you get in action combat or soft lock MMOs. You will be able to play WoW almost identically to how games like Guild Wars 2 and Elder Scrolls Online play, directly controlling your character, targeting enemies just by looking at them, and interacting with objects and NPCs without the need to directly click. Take all of this and- Yeah, I think that would be huge. Like if, if they were able to add WoW to console, I think also it would give Microsoft a bigger incentive to continue building WoW and making it better. Add in the recently data mined controller icons coming mm -hmm. to the game and the impending Microsoft. I think that could also, to be fair, I think that Blizzard was also going to add that kind of stuff for accessibility reasons for people that had different types of problems using types of, uh, you know, keyboards, etc acquisition. At this point, I would be surprised if WoW didn't come to consoles eventually. Like, my money is on the table here, and we'll see how it all plays out. I hope out. it does. I want to dive into some of this here today, but first, let's get a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Tunic. This is the top-down action-adventure game that oh, released yeah. for PC and Xbox earlier in the year and was an immediate smash hit, pulling in yeah, plenty of 8 this. and 9 out of 10s from critics, and currently the game sits at a very positive user score over on Steam. Yeah. Well, they are sponsoring today's video just as a way of letting people know that the game is now also it. available on PS4, PS5, and Nintendo Switch. To put it simply, Tunic is a fun, challenging adventure game full of mysteries and secrets to discover. It features a hostile, intricately connected world of shady forests, sprawling hard. ruins, and really? labyrinth catacombs. You'll fight mighty bosses deep beneath the earth, high above the clouds, and in other strange oh, cool. places. You'll discover hidden treasures, collect the missing manual pages, and unearth secret relics, techniques, puzzles, and much more. If you would like to learn more and check out Tunic This one kind of reminded me of like uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past or like Four Swords Adventures or something like that. Like there's a big vibe that I got from that yourself, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Okay, so I want to talk about the stuff that has kind of led up to this point, the history when it comes to World of Warcraft and controller support and gamepad support, basically. So Blizzard has been slowly building towards this reality over the years, adding yeah, various features good. to make WoW way more controller and by extension console friendly. It all started in 2016 with Legion, where they added action cam. By inputting the command slash console action cam on, the game's yeah, camera Bellwood would shift directly this. behind and slightly off center of your character, making the perspective much more akin to third person action games. On top of the new camera position, the camera and your character would also slightly adjust to follow your target as it moved. Think like in Dark Souls or Elden Ring when yeah. you're locked onto an enemy, how the camera moves to keep them in focus. Action cam works along those same lines. That's then cool. in 2020, with the yeah, launch of Shadowlands, they added native gamepad support, meaning it was no longer necessary to use external programs like WoW Mapper. To and play to keep in mind, I, I want to again add context to this. The reason why that was done was for accessibility reasons for people that had different types of disabilities to use the game uh, at the time. It was not done in order to make a foray into making it a console game.
play with a controller. But Although to get a way. smooth and more console-like experience, you did still want to use various add-ons like console port and immersion. But nevertheless, native support meant one less hoop to jump through. And now with the upcoming launch of Dragonflight, they are adding what I consider to be two of the biggest hurdles that by putting them in that? the game, put them that much closer to really a natural feeling gamepad and console gameplay. And that is action combat and near object targeting, both of which open up the game to be played like an action or soft lock style MMO. Think about how combat and targeting yeah, work in games so. like Guild Wars 2 or Elder Scrolls Online. With these additional features, WoW Wait, no, will is, now yeah, be able to Wars more 2, or less it? emulate that. So first there's action combat. Uh, with this new mode, you will automatically target whatever enemy your character is directly facing. So instead of having to tab or to yeah. select a target specifically by like clicking on it, your target is automatically set to whatever is in front of you. If you turn and face a new enemy, that becomes your new target. I'm now sure WoW has kind of had an auto select for some time, specifically with certain melee and cleave skills. If no target was selected, it would automatically pick up one of the enemies that were hit. But this new action- It's hard for me to know whether somebody could ever play WoW on console to the extent that somebody could play WoW on PC. I feel like playing Mythic Raiding or High End Arena, you'd have to be on PC. Because the one way that it's possible to play, like when, whenever you think of FPS, whenever you have crossplay and FPS, console has aim assist. So console has a native advantage because PC, if you put them on a completely even playing field, PC just gives you a better range of motion that you can do with a keyboard and mouse in an FPS game. Combat feature is a totally different thing. It removes the need to manually swap or yeah. manually select anything. It will just automatically select things that you're facing. And this also means for ranged characters and ranged abilities, you will now be able to target them without tabbing, without clicking. And again, this makes WoW not only function more like a third person action game, but also way more playable on gamepad. Also coming in Dragonflight is the new near object interact key. Now, this is similar to action combat but for npcs and objects with this mode enabled whenever you <laughs> i think force is saying that this is necessary because they're trying to put it into consoles no it's necessary because there's so much fucking ability and item and npc bloat in the game you need to have an interact with nearby item because they literally had to put something in the game for you to be able to click a gateway fast enough because there's so many other things that you could click on that it means that you sometimes don't click the gateway at the right time it's so bad you walk next to an NPC or an interactable object, yeah, you can simply honest. hit a single key or a button if on a controller, and it will automatically select and interact with it. By the way, I think this is a very good thing. Lost Ark has that with spamming G. Uh, other games have that with spamming E. Other games have that with spamming F. That sounds fine. I think it's an improvement. But I do think that it's also... Um, I'd, I think it's also because... It's so hard to even be able to click on anything. Eliminating the need to click. This looks to function almost exactly like it does in Guild Wars 2. As you walk near any NPCs or any environmental objects, as soon as you get close enough, mm -hmm. you can just hit F and it will automatically yeah. interact with them, Lost start talking the with thing. them, looting, gathering, yeah. whatever. This will work in WoW for things like NPCs, quest objectives, mailboxes, anything that is lootable. If whatever you're standing next to can be interacted with, with this new feature, you can do so with a single input. And then the cherry on top is that it looks like Blizzard is adding even more controller official support. Thanks to some recently data mined information from the Dragonflight beta, they discovered icons for just about every controller input type. So they yeah. have the native support, they have the icons, they are right there. Now, while also keep in mind that like what we just saw there, this square X, you know, triangle and circle, uh, this is PlayStation. So this would imply that it's not only going to come to Xbox that it would go to all consoles if WoW would go to consoles. Because you would easily assume that it might only go to, like, uh, Xbox, since Microsoft is buying Blizzard. But having this there is clearly not 
Not has been case. mostly playable with a controller for many years now. Switch. This is primarily yeah, due to the fantastic add-on console port, which not only remapped your keyboard and mouse inputs to be usable on a gamepad, but also came with an entire UI overhaul, making it way easier to navigate with a joystick and D-pad. I've played around with the add-on on and off over the years and have been mostly impressed with how functional and playable it actually is. And now between the action cam, the native gamepad support, and the upcoming action combat and near object interact functions in Dragonflight, the game will literally be playable either as it currently is a tab target MMO or as an action combat MMO. Like short of doing the UI overhauls themselves, Blizzard has basically everything they need to officially port WoW to console right now. And I feel like I need to- I do think also like making the game tab target makes it accessible for a lot of boomers. Like, I know, for example, my mom, whenever she played the game, there's no way she could play the game if it was action combat. So I don't think getting rid of tab targeting is a good idea. I just think adding action combat as an option is a good idea. Really emphasize just how big these People new Dragon Flight yes, exactly. additions are because they are massive improvements to the controller experience. So, the way targeting currently works on a gamepad using that console port add on is that you either need to tab target onto an enemy yes. or emulate a mouse click by selecting them. The add on does this by binding tab to one of the gamepad inputs. This is customizable, but basically, a button push replaces the tab key. Or you need to emulate the sense, mouse yeah. click with the this on-screen crosshair, which indicates the mouse's default position. So then by clicking in the right thumbstick and lining up the crosshair, you can effectively functionally mouse click on an enemy, on an object, on an NPC. Mm -hmm. But both of these options, the tab or the clicking, just feel slightly too clunky, if I'm being honest. For most abilities, especially for range classes, you need to hit an extra button before you start using your skill, before you start attacking, before you do anything. And I think for it's always going to be a little clunky and even whenever i've watched people play final fantasy 14 on console i feel like it's more clunky than playing it on pc now is this my opinion as a lifelong pc gamer or is this my opinion that's like more objective i, I think that most of the time whenever i'm watching somebody do things on console and whether this is poe whether this is world of warcraft whether this is final fantasy everything always takes pretty much one or two extra steps for that reason, I felt way more comfortable playing melee classes when playing with a gamepad. Because like I mentioned, there are many melee abilities and cleave abilities that can be cast without a target, and then the game will auto-select the nearest target that was hit, and it's pretty great. So yeah. for that reason, playing like a rogue, playing a warrior, playing a paladin, all feel fantastic. But the range classes require that extra step of tabbing or lining up the crosshair and clicking, oh, and yeah. it just doesn't feel right. And it's just as bad as, if not even worse, for interactable objects, talking to NPCs, looting, clicking on quest objectives, all of that require you to line up that crosshair and emulate the mouse click on the game. And that's why having that pressing G like Lost Ark is so good, is that it removes so many clicks that you have to do because you just go near something and you press G. Like Lost Ark makes it so easy. You want to pick a, you want to pick an herb, press G. You want to turn into quest, press G. You want to cut down the tree? Press G. It's just that fucking simple. And it feels way too cumbersome, really. So replacing all of this with the new near Top object G. interact will mean just like an ESO or Guild Wars 2, you just need to stand next to something and hit a single input. It's clunky right now. This is going to be yeah. way, way be better and amazing quality of life improvement sure. and just overall feel. It'll feel a lot more natural. Now, when it comes to the idea of playing on gamepad or the idea mm -hmm. of WoW coming to consoles, there's a few major concerns that tend to come up. One of them is are there enough inputs? Let me say this, the answer is unequivocally no. yes. So by default, with the current console port add-on, the setup is 12 buttons and two modifiers. So you've got the four face buttons, the four D-pad, the left so. and right bumper, and then start and select. Those yeah. are the 12 inputs. And then the left and right trigger act as modifiers, sort of like swapping hotbars. So you can hold down left trigger to get 12 more, hold down right trigger to get 12 more, hold down them both to get 12 more, including the default 12, those three additional layers add up to 48 total skill slots just oh, using I two see. modifiers. And so if that's yeah, he's talking about holding down the buttons. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you, if you include that, I, I can't see why not. Yeah. Yeah, sure.
that wasn't enough. So you could technically add yeah, another sure. modifier. I mean, you could just keep adding modifiers, adding more hop bars. So let's say you did left trigger and right trigger as well as left bumper. So three modifiers. This would remove one open slot because you're taking away left bumper. While it brings the total number of slots down to 11, you have three extra combinations bringing the total with three modifiers and 11 buttons to 88 skills. And you That's could go even That's further by adding a fourth modifier. So basically to answer so the question is of are there uh, enough inputs on a gamepad to have all of your skills yes absolutely there's way more than enough you can totally make it work and you should be aware that yeah. it works yeah in the context of being able to have a uh you know the the fucking uh, trigger modifiers 100 percent works just by the virtue of the other console mmos that exist final fantasy 14 in particular you can do it. It is certainly possible. Yeah. And then on top of that, there is also the utility ring, which works just like a radial menu in a lot of other games. You can oh, pull this up yeah. and you're able to bind like various objects, things like potions, your hearthstone, and even skill. This is the same thing as in like, uh, you know, whenever you're playing Dark Souls and you have like, you know, your Estus flask, you've got your, or, or your weapon, you've got your Estus flask and other shit, right? I mean, it's very simple onto this radial menu adding even more skills now enough inputs is Funky. one question ah, which really. hopefully we've answered another one is does it play well as i mentioned in the time that i've played wow using a gamepad and console port add-on it was absolutely enjoyable and functional was it yeah. ideal was it flawless no and no i think you can only get to like 90 percent with a controller i think that if you want to get to 100 percent efficiency you've got to be using a keyboard and mouse but I think with these upcoming Dragonflight changes, it is going to be a heck of a lot better. Like, I'm certain, actually. I am genuinely excited to give Dragonflight a go using a gamepad with the new action combat and the near object too. targeting. It's not going to become my default. I still prefer keyboard and mouse. Yeah. But those two additions are going to make a gamepad feel way, way, way more natural. And again, this really isn't a question of, like, either or. Uh, the biggest advantage for playing any MMO on a gamepad is it just feels more casual and relaxed. The idea that yeah, I could just... Like on the sofa. sit on a sofa and use a big screen TV yep. and play WoW, just chilling with a gamepad. It's just it's 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 a different experience exactly. than like sitting here trying to maintain posture, playing WoW at my keyboard and mostly failing at maintaining a posture. Like at least I can get rid of the I facade think... when I'm on the couch. I'm on the couch. Yeah. I'm sitting improperly. It's fine. Um, it's not really an either or situation, and there's certainly some value, even if it's just a different way to experience the game, in playing on a gamepad. Now, another big concern that comes up is could you play competitively? The answer is yes. People have, in fact. There are videos all over YouTube of people clearing mythic raids and reaching gladiator using only a gamepad. It is absolutely. Yeah, they're probably playing a bear druid. And, uh, you know, playing a prop paladin in PvP, I can easily see that. Uh, again, I think that it would be hard to play at... I, I think that playing with a uh, playing with a controller will always be like running with ankle weights. But I do think that there will be some people who can still do it, for sure. And also, like, just because the game... Just because you can't play the highest echelon of content with a gamepad doesn't mean you shouldn't have gamepad support. Absolutely. There's a lot of people who have a PC and a keyboard and mouse, and they still can't play the highest echelon of content. So it's not an issue for most people. Be possible. Now again, is it ideal? No, not really, probably not, especially when it comes to the existing clunkiness of targeting enemies and all of that. But there's no question yeah. at this point that the hardest and most competitive content in the game has and can be cleared just by using a controller. And it It's so weird for me to see somebody doing freehold at level 12. It's just, it's so weird. Again, this is going to become even easier with the new changes in Dragonflight. Yeah. With all of that said, Blizzard has clearly been making moves to make WoW way more natural on a gamepad. While console support is an unofficial add-on, Blizzard themselves have added native gamepad support. They yeah. added action For cams, and they are adding that action combat and that new object targeting. The only thing they have left to do is to make an official UI overhaul themselves. Yes. And then at that point, while I know it's not just the snap of a finger much of the pieces will be in place for an actual console release and i think that they should there's a few reasons yes. why for one wow's pc player base uh kind of been on a mostly continuous decline since well, it's stagnant 
Like that's it. Like there's gonna you're never gonna get a new resurgence of WoW players ever again with a new expansion unless you just completely redesign the game from the ground up. So yes, a hundred percent it's a stagnant player base. Adding in console support would bring in new people. Clism, this is not a secret. It is a well known secret, if yeah. a, if anything. Also, other MMOs have proven it's to be quite well successful. Known. Look at games like BDO, ESO, yes. and the most comparable thing Final to Fantasy. WoW, Final Fantasy XIV. Yes. That is a by default tab target game that seems to work quite well on console and also has been quite successful. And then, exactly. of course, can't men uh, leave out the fact that Microsoft is acquiring or they're in the process of acquiring Activision Blizzard King. Which makes it more and with compelling. that, and the focus that they have on Game Pass and trying to add value world of warcraft subscription included in game pass even if it was at the premium tiers sounds like a lot of value they are all about that and that seems entirely plausible i guess one i really hope they do that as i said i think that if they include wow into the game pass we can see a very bright future for wow because world of warcraft is a massive ip it's a it's probably one of the biggest value adds that it's a bigger value add probably than Halo Infinite, like to the Game Pass. So the Game Pass is like, that's Microsoft's Amazon Prime. So they're going to do whatever they can to make the value of the Game Pass and the things that people derive value from the Game Pass for, like Halo Infinite, potentially World of Warcraft, these other gaming libraries, everything like that. They're, they, it is in their best interest to make that as high tier and as high quality as possible. My biggest questions at this point would be how they handle cross-play. Would PC and console players be playing on the same servers? Would it be entirely separate? Different games have done no, different things here. Same, For example, Final server. Fantasy XIV does have cross-play between console and PC, whereas ESO have their own dedicated servers for each. Xbox players play together, PlayStation players play together, PC players play together. ESO has decided to... I am not a fan of any segmentation. I, I think everybody should be able to play with everybody. And if you don't like that, like, I can guarantee you that I have done a lot of WoW raids. Like, I have done so many fucking WoW raids. And after running Nax 50 million times, I can tell you that the gamepad is not going to be the reason why somebody misses the jump on Thaddeus. That will not be the reason. I can promise you that. Separate them. WoW could go either way. Especially when it comes to people who might be concerned about, you know, the dumbing down of the game as if that isn't already an existing concern. It's, uh, dude, anybody who thinks that WoW is getting dumbed down is dumber than classic WoW. Like, you are so stupid if you think WoW is getting dumbed down. Like, go read a rotation guide for a retail WoW class and then tell me the class is dumb. And then go read a classic WoW guide. It's not even remotely close. That's been trending throughout World of Warcraft, yeah, retail World of Warcraft expansions. Um, I don't know that a gamepad, which as I mentioned, has upwards of like 80 inputs would necessarily dumb it down. I understand no, the concern, but I just don't feel that bothered by it, I suppose. And I, I don't know how, I don't know how like authentic of a worry that really is. I think the game is going in the direction it's that it's going and the direction that it's going with all of the support that Blizzard has already been doing, we, even without the announcement of official console release, it just makes playing the game here a lot more feasible and even enjoyable. I Again, I there's, especially playing as the melee. Yeah, it's like, um, uh, it, it's like eating, uh, eating lunch or dinner in the backyard outside. It, sometimes it makes the food taste better. Because it's a different environment, you know, you're doing it in a different place, it feels all kinds of different. And I think that's uh, that's the same thing. I thought that was Jeff. <laughs> yeah. I can see why you Classes. Say that. The range is another story, and I think healing is an extra layer of difficulty and clunkiness, almost certainly. But playing melee yeah. class with a with a controller, it feels it feels really good. It honestly does. It's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I could just like lay back, hang out, and use this. Um I don't know. Yeah, I've I think so. so. I agree. But how can we keep having difficult content while also making it manageable for console users? Don't you think that introducing console to cross platform will ultimately make Blizzard have to make raids easier to appease console peasants? Two birds with one stone. That's what I think. Sounds great. 
Yeah, that sounds awesome. Stop designing fucking raids for people that played the game professionally. I've had fun. I've enjoyed it. So, obviously, we will see. Nothing is official yet, but they are so, so close to being able to do this. And I, I would like to see it. I would genuinely like to see it. I think the idea of, like, a fresh start action version of WoW uh, on a gamepad, like, I would bust out the Xbox to try that. I absolutely would. Just like I try fresh start servers in WoW, just like I try classic WoW. Give me another angle into playing wow and i'll probably check it out and this sounds yeah. like a good one but I think yeah there you go that is that. the video thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed it i'll see you in the next one take it easy well that was a good video i like that a lot i mean obviously like uh <laughs> i'll watch this one I'll, I'll watch this one probably in a day or so uh whenever i have time for it i wanted to take a look at this i'll, I'll watch one other shorter video and uh, then after that, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll get started with Max. And uh, WoW Reforged win. Yeah, exactly. I really do think that, like, again, adding WoW and making WoW a console game is, like, such a big thing for the game. I think it would be tremendous and it would be amazing for the game. I don't agree with this idea that you should, uh, you know, try to gatekeep people away from playing and console peasants. I'm not about that, okay? Like, I'm going to be honest. I think consoles are garbage. I have a PS5 right over there. And I played it uh, for Demon's Souls, and I've never turned it on since then. I have a PS4 back there, and I played it for Bloodborne, and it's also used for Netflix. And that's about it. Uh, the only consoles that I think are worth buying are Nintendo consoles. And uh, other than that, I don't really give a fuck. I haven't really bought a console and played on it seriously ever since the uh, Wii U, whenever I bought it after watching Tri-X play Mario Maker, and I went out and I bought an entire console for that. Other than that, I never really play consoles. Uh, so I'm not a big fan fan of consoles in general, but I know that I'm not the only person out there. I know a lot of other people love consoles because consoles are very useful for a lot of players and a lot of people who aren't tech savvy, you know, and consoles, let's be honest, even if a, an Xbox or a PlayStation is like $600, a PC is over a thousand. So consoles provide a, every single game that is made for that console is designed in a way that it will run on that console which is like a massive like annoyance that a lot of people that are not tech savvy don't have to deal with so it's a huge advantage let me see here i'll read some of the comments let me move my camera over i feel like my camera is too far over to the other side there i think that's yeah that's a little bit better okay yeah i was i, I feel like i'm always off to the side like this yeah this is yeah this is better okay anyway let's see here and uh, if and when uh, WoW comes to Xbox, I'll definitely jump in again. You're such, doing such a great job for us. Thanks for all the videos. Yeah, by the way, uh, Force Gaming is actually almost at a million subscribers. So make sure to give him a sub if you haven't already. Uh, I've watched a lot of his videos, uh, whether it's like New World stuff, uh, Lost Ark stuff. I think he did some Lost Ark stuff a little bit. Diablo Immortal, um, WoW, or anything like that. Uh, you know, he plays a lot of the same games I do. So we watch a lot of his stuff. And uh, yeah, I guess he'll probably be getting his, uh, his gold plaque probably by the end of the year, I would expect. Uh, with a 945k, which is kind of crazy to think. Uh, this would be freaking awesome. Yeah, a lot of people are super positive about this. And again, if you think that WoW is like, at least let people play Wrath of the Lich King on console, okay? You can make an argument retail WoW is too complex, but not Wrath. You can 100 fucking percent let people play Wrath on console.